sorting on gloves. Gloves that I can wash. How you guys doing? First and foremost, I hope everybody's being safe. Hope everybody's washing their hand and uh, staying six feet away. You know, you know, I when this when it started uh, happening, I was uh, I didn't understand. I know my wife was telling me, "You better, you better wash your hands." I said, "Honey, I am. Look at this is how I wash my hands on a job site, like this with dirt." Ah, uh, so that wasn't didn't fly too good. She's all mad at me. So just be safe, guys. So somebody asked a request on lasers. So what I did is I brought my old laser out and I brought my new laser out. So uh, I have it on stands right now, guys. I'm gonna show you. This is the new laser, okay? So, see that? So I, I uh, when I, when they first showed it, I'm sorry, it's all dirty. Uh, to me at their office, they said, I looked at it and I said, where's the bubble? See, there's a bubble on there on the old one. I'm going to show you in a minute. You had to adjust it. And the guy said, no, you just push the button. So I pushed the button. The laser inside is, it's got to be at least 15 degrees. If it's 15 degrees off, it won't turn on. So boom, it's done. Look at that. Did that see spinning that? You see me on the other side? So that's the new laser. So come on, I'm gonna show you the, the old laser. So when you got to the job site and you're hurrying up and you gotta take it down, you gotta move it. So basically, I can't just push the button. So you see right down there? I don't think, oh, okay. Sometimes you had a, if you're blind, you see that bubble? I gotta adjust it. So basically, you see it bubble moving? Are you looking? Just look at it. Just stay right there. Oh my God, you're blind too? So look at that. It's right in the middle. See the bubble right in the middle? So basically, I'm going to turn it on. It's spinning, guys. So basically, if that bubble, I'm going to show you right now. If that bubble, even even this right here, come here. Uh, if, if it's not in the ground well, there's any vibration. If it goes out of whack, it's going to shut off. So look at that, the beam of light. See that? Well, that's not right. Unbelievable. Okay. It's okay. It's doing the right thing. So basic. So basically, what it did is got out of whack. It stopped. Now it's finding its level again, but it's out of whack too much. It's not going to turn on. And I'll show you. Same thing here. <laughs> Only thing is, it's going to. There's going to be a blinking light right here on the dash, uh, right there by the button. It's saying it's out of whack. It's out of whack. So all of a sudden, what you have to do is you got to go back. You got to play around with the bubble and it comes back on. Okay. I'll give you an example. I'm doing a detached garage. I want to see if the, if the ground's level. And so what I'll do is if we need extra courses of block, or are they going to come back here with a dozer and, and, and make it level? So I'll come over here, this is the corner. Top of footings right here. So what I'll do is I'll turn this on. Okay, I'll just lower the stick down. Okay. Solid beep. Stick is uh, straight up and down. So I come over here and I go like this. Okay, you know, you know what that means? That means I'm about four inches lower into the dirt. So what I do is I usually put a, uh, a pencil mark right here, but I'm gonna lower it down just to give an, an example. Yep, about four inches. And then you come over here, you go to the next corner. Let's 
six inches. Six inches lower is is uh, level. Then I come over here. Pretty close. It's pretty close to here to there, and then uh, over uh, on that part. That is six inches down into the dirt and it's level with that stick. So, so when I start digging, 42 inches in Michigan is, is the standard. So when I start digging it, my laborer will stick this into the trench and I will uh, bring it at 42 inches. Now after that, uh, A, the ground has to be solid and the, the ground has to be good. If it's a uh, black topsoil, uh, that won't hold up foundation work, so you have to uh, go down and, and I know 99% I know the uh, what good, good ground is. I know I'm not an engineer, but if there's vegetation in it, it's, it's not good. So this laser is, is awesome, especially, especially the one that... Uh, self levels when uh it's time to pour the concrete of course i would use the laser to pour the concrete uh one guy pours it the other guy basically holds the laser and i just look at the bottom of the stick and i pour the concrete even with that so um i hope it uh answered your questions and if you have any more questions uh you know feel free to uh, reach out to me and I will get you that information. So thanks for watching my videos. Um, hope everybody's uh, being safe and uh, doing well. We will get through this. Um, I know that it's a challenge, but uh, I think uh, God has it under control. That's what I keep on telling Michelle. I says, I'm not, I'm not too worried. Um, you know, what's tough is being with Michelle alone in the house for a long time. That's, that's tough. So just kidding, honey. I love You're you. sleeping in the barn tonight. I love you. Yeah. I, I, I cleaned the barn out. So it's, it's ready. Yeah. Did you put your pillow in there? No, I need a TV. <laughs> be good. Be safe. Shut up, laser. That's yeah. Let me tell you one funny thing. Um, when we pour concrete, I tell my laser laser guy, I said, I want to hear the solid beep for, here, I'll show you, for two, three seconds. That's it, okay? So this is how we pour, like this, okay? Beep, okay, that's all I want to hear, okay? We're pouring another three feet, okay? Okay, just like that. And, but sometimes the new guys, when they're learning how to do laser, they're just standing there doing this. And I have to yell at them. I don't want to hear it. Let me hear it a couple times. That's it. You know what I mean? So it is funny when you see me on the job yelling at the guys. But then I, then I apologize after this truck leaves. Not during... Cause I didn't do nothing wrong. Just like Tony. Tony says, oh, I'm not saying I'm sorry yet. I didn't do nothing wrong. But. He's going to apologize to me. Yeah, he's going to apologize to me. The heck. I'm the boss. Who writes his checks? Um, so. All right, guys. Be good. Be safe. And. Uh, stay well.